New tonight, a controversial bill on school sports in Kentucky advances in the House today. House Bill 23 would prevent women and girls who are transgender from competing in female sports at the middle, high, middle school, high school, and collegiate levels. WHS 1119's Tom Lally is breaking down the legislation and its impact. God created two distinct sexes, male and female. This legislation would not only harm Kentucky children, but it's a waste of tax dollars. I'm frankly offended as a woman that man that any man thinks he can become a woman and do what a woman can do. But if you do pass this bill, the people it will impact are our youngest and most vulnerable transgender kids, middle schoolers who do not deserve this level of unfair scrutiny and debate over whether or not they should be included in school life. One of those students spoke to the House committee. Fisher Wells signed up for the girls field hockey team here at Westport Middle, found out there weren't enough students to make the team happen, and her dad tells us she went around with a sign up sheet. This is not an instance of Fisher taking anyone's spot, but this happened because she went out and made it happen. Two separate bills aim to keep girls who are trans from competing in interscholastic sports. Senate Bill 83 would apply to K through 12 girls sports, while House Bill 23 would impact sports from six grade to the collegiate level. The sponsor in this meeting changing that bill to exclude kindergarten through fifth grade. A lot of puberty changes doesn't occur until latter fourth, early fifth grade. Both bills would bar Fisher Wells from competing in the eighth grade. I've worked really hard to play this sport. I just hope you'll let me play. The Kentucky High School Athletic Association already bans these trans athletes, so the real change would come for young girls. I don't care if I don't get to play in high school. I just want to play. Fisher's dad tells us it's not about competition or athletic ability. When a kid tells you who, who they are, you listen. And that's what this is all about for us. The House bill passed committee 13 to 6, and the Senate bill is up for passage on Wednesday. In Louisville, Tom Lally, the WHAS 11 night team, on your side.